How's she going? So, you'll be a little bit surprised, kind of like me. I forgot today was Friday. I'm not prepared. So, I'm just gonna take you on a kind of a carve along today. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a bench, but as you know, my, my weeks have been kind of really, uh, really hectic the last little bit. And, um, how do you explain that? Yeah, my truck broke down, right? That really sucked, so I had to go find another one. And that took freaking forever, man, like that. It's like two weeks of stress and. Oh, but luckily we got the truck right and uh, yeah we'll go out. I'll give you a quick show of what she looks like right now here let's do that there she is she's a beaut she's a Ram 150 that's about all I know about it it's a, it's a good truck though so, so I was just about to start carving an owl so we'll go ahead and get that started You guys like my new prescription safety glasses? What do you think of them bad boys, huh? <laughs> so, I'm at the point where it's a deciding factor whether or not it's gonna be a quick carve or you wanna put like a whole day's worth into a piece. Now, you can probably tell, I made a boo-boo where the wings should be because it's going too fast. So this guy's destined to be a quick carve. I'm gonna show you a technique <clears throat> that I recently just learned off another carver named Earl. It's a certain pattern that kind of represents feathers. I don't know, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, like I said, that carver named Earl uses them all the time. Um, Earl disappeared, I don't know where Earl's gone. Uh, he just stopped carving one day. He's poofed. Maybe he was enlightened. Probably not, I think it was drugged. But, uh, so yeah. Just gonna do as much as I can with the chainsaw now and then we'll uh, head out to KMS Tools and grab some more sanding pads. Wow, I'm definitely blowing myself away on this one. <laughs> so this is all, all chainsaw at this point. I don't know if we can pick up the detail. It's gone and just feathered the front, and that's just with chainsaw marks. And then the chest is just moving this all up and down all the way across. So it gives you that nice pattern, right? And then I've gone done the feet with chainsaw. Really, really just kind of basic, eh? Not not too too fancy. I've actually just gone in there uh, with the chainsaw and just kind of come around the sides and come around the other sides and pointed it here by digging the tip of the bar in on each side. And that's just a quick way for doing some really cheap feet. It's a quick carve. We're not we're not going for perfection on these guys. <laughs> All right, I think uh, I'm gonna try to work on the face a little bit and then we'll. Head out to KMS Tools. I'm excited. <laughs> this is the new truck. <laughs> uh, beautiful. I love it. Is your door open or somewhere like John? What is this crap, huh? The rear. That door is open. I fixed it. Alright, so, a little bit on this feather pattern. Now the, the whole, oh shite, crap me eyeball. The whole premise of the feather pattern is using the actual shape of the grinding disc. And you just, I'll, it's actually a hell of a lot easier but just show you. We'll just do that. Alright, so we just came back from the KMS Tools. I went and picked up a, I really like the color on this one. It's like, you know those cream sickles that you get? That are popsicles. Huh, look at that thing. 
and I picked up 40 sanding discs, okay? Now the grand total, including the, the new backing pad, it was like $56. It was quite reasonable. I actually bumped into a guy there. He was saying you could order them on Amazon for 50 cents a piece. So you could get these things for uh, 50 cents a piece online, apparently. I don't know, I've never done it. And I'm not really risking a lot of money on something I haven't tried out before. Maybe I'll give it a shot. To explain this thoroughly, right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a line like that. Hold on. See if you can't get two discs in here. So you make a line like this, and then the second one comes in around, and then you. I'm just gonna try to do it and see if we can. And I think you'll figure it out a lot easier seeing it done as opposed to me trying to show you how to do it. All right, let's do this. Okay, so the pattern's a little bit hard to pick up with the camera, but you can kind of see what I did there. I went in, right, and just did a whole bunch of lines that way, and I used the shape of the grinder, or uh, the grinding pad. You can see right here, they fit in nice, and I actually went down all the way this way, right, and all the way down there. And then I went back, and on the middlemost part of each arch, I started the next row, and just went in and did that whole, uh, the same, the same technique, right? And like you just saw, it was, it was, it was super fast. It took maybe like a minute or two to do the whole one side of the wing. And I'll do that again on the other side. And it's, it's a really nice way of finishing off a quick carve. Like, uh, I recently just learned how to do this pattern and it, you know, you can carve every feather, right? If you want to, but like the selling point of this guy well, uh, I, I'll quick sell this guy for $50 and then somebody else will resell him for like 75 or they can push 100 if they want. Really, I don't mind if uh, I'm just happy getting 50 for him. Um, so that's that guy. So we're going to finish him off. I'm not going to do anything on the base just due to the selling point. And that carving will be done. Let's get back to work. Hey everyone, how's it going there? Um, it was just a quick little video on a little a little feather pattern there that I, uh, I just recently picked up for uh, for doing wings on certain birds for my quick carbs. Um, sorry for the lack of uploads in the last two weeks. Uh, uh, life's been a little bit hectic, but I should be getting back on track with at least one video upload a week. Uh, next week I'll be showing you a bench, that's for sure. I'll actually be shooting uh, the video for that on Monday, so I might actually have it uploaded uh, a little bit earlier during the week. Um, aside from that, you know, <laughs> I have a bunch more, um, uh, uh, video that I took for the day, but just due to the duration of how, uh, how long everything is going right now, um, uh, I'm just gonna shoot together a quick, uh, time lapse of, uh, the bear I also did, uh, during today, just, uh, right after this outro. So, uh, thanks for watching guys, and, uh, any comments or suggestions, just leave them in the comment section below, and, uh, feel free to shoot me a message on my email, uh, 
I think it's, I'll put a link down there for you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep on carving. A little dirty. Don't get me wrong. It's a dusty job. So I've gone ahead and charred the bear. As you can see, the details on which parts are made puffy have different hair directions. Camera's a little dusty. A little piece of rod on his nose, but there's not much I can do about it. But overall, he turned out to be a nice, spicy little carving. Oh, it sings. Jeez Louise. Sometimes simp more, uh, less is more. When it comes to the claws, all I did was make a chainsaw groove, went in with the flap dicks to uh, round them off and point them. And then I just made these little knuckles here. And then I just indicated that there's actual fingers there. And I didn't go deep at all, and, and it really just less is more sometimes, right? I did put spray paint in all the darker areas. And there you have them. Decent little carving. 
All right, I'm calling it a day. You go edit this bad boy. The dust everywhere all over me. That's yeah, great. Made it worse. All right, we'll see you in the trailer.